Hey, in today's video, I'm going to share how I shot these photos at home. And these are some of my favorite portraits I've ever shot. I feel like she looks like a siren, like one of those bad mermaids. And the crazy thing is, we just shot this in my garden. You can easily replicate it at home as well. And that is exactly what I'll be showing in today's video. So we're gonna need a couple things. First off, we need a swimming pool. And I've got mine of Amazon for literally 20 bucks. Oh, getting lightheaded. I think I'm gonna need to buy a pump. Then next up, we're gonna need a ton of water, obviously, to fill up the pool. And then to create a depth in our photos, I'm gonna use a dark cloth throughout the swimming pool and as our background. So I just set it up with a couple of tripods, a couple of clips and pins here and there. And to make sure that the tablecloth won't float up, I just put some rocks in the pool. And that is our setup. Of course, we're gonna need a model as well. And I'm gonna be using my sister, Julia, for this photo shoot. She is an incredible model and also an incredible makeup artist. So we discussed what sort of look would work best. And we came to the conclusion that some diamonds as a nice, strong eyeshadow would work really well to make her eyes pop even more. Now, most importantly, we're gonna need some lights. Because trust me, light is everything when it comes to taking good portraits. And for this setup, I'm gonna be using the lights from Sijun Tech. And if you been following along with my previous videos you know that I am a big fan of their lights and in this video I'm going to be using the Molis G300 this is one of their newest lights so every time I work with Sijun Tech I feel like it cannot get any crazier or any better and then they bring out this mean machine. This is a bicolor light with 300 watts and it has a separate controller on which you can easily adjust the warmth or the strength of your lights. And as you can see this funky mechanism comes with a cooling system and because of its Bowens bound you can add a bunch of different accessories but in today's video I'm going to be using the reflector because I really want to have that harsh light in Julia's face. Okay, so of course for these lights, we also need a source of power and we literally have the power cord going through the little cat hole thing in the door. I don't know what the English word for it is, but it works. If you know me, you know that I like to add a little bit of color to my portraits and that's when the Sijun Tech X60 comes into play. This is an RGB light with 60 watts. So during this photo shoot, I'm gonna be using two lenses. One of them is the 50mm f1.4 from Sigma and the other one, which is this big boy, this is the 85mm f1.4. These are the lenses we're gonna be using. I'm gonna be shooting with my Canon R6. All right, Yiltje. So we start with what overhead shots. do when I use an RGB and a bicolor light is I make sure the bicolor is coming from one side of the face so in this case the left side of Julia's face and the RGB color from the right side of the face photos are edited with my Lightroom presets. You can find the link in the description to my pack with 25 presets, bunch of editing tutorials and some other goodies in there as well. So check out the link in my description. Back to the video. Okay, so I wanna share a little secret about this light. So when you press the dim button and the CCT button at the same time, that's when you get an extra 200 watts. So the Modus G300 is capable of 500 watts. I don't think I've been in the possession of such a powerful light. So as the sun was going down and down and down, it was also getting colder and especially for Julia. I saw her goosebumps already popping up as we call them in Dutch, chicken skin 
aka kippenvel. I think we shot for about maybe 30 minutes, which was long enough because Julia was getting way too cold. And as you can see, the lights are so important in especially these portraits because they really create that atmosphere. And by using the lights, it makes the editing process so much more fun as well because Julia is already popping out of the photo and really standing out. And then when I chuck on a little edit, it all comes together. And these are all the final photos from this photo shoot. I really enjoyed this one. It was challenging, something I've never done before. So I hope you enjoyed this photo shoot as much as I did. If you have any questions about the gear or maybe the lights from CG Tech, just ask them down below. And you can also find the links to the G300 and the X60 in my description. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I also hope to see you at my next one. Okay, bye bye. Doei.